Hi everybody, my name is Matt Sowerby and I'm Church Action on Poverty's Digital Poet in Residence. What that means is that every Tuesday I'm going to be uploading workshops and performances to all of Church Action on Poverty's social media as part of their On the Fringes project. But for now I'm just going to do another poem. Um, this is called Pinky Promise. It's a poem about looking out for other people, which I think is something that is especially important at the moment. And I hope you enjoy it. You've been staring at that mirror for so long that you've forgotten which side you're on. Believing you're full of helium, that you are hollow inside, you're wrong. Because just because you've been broken, that doesn't mean you aren't strong. And I'll be right here at the end of the phone. You see, I may not look like a hero from the comics, but please don't think me dishonest. And on those rough days when you're feeling forgotten, I'll make you a pinky promise. You see, I may not know how to carry your loads, but you don't have to face this alone. Did you hear me? I may not know how to carry your loads, but you don't have to face this alone. Because we could buy a tub of ice cream and eat it with knives if there's no spoons left in the room. Or we could watch Netflix. Or more old school, we could play Tetris on your old phone where text takes 10 minutes to do. See, deep talk or small talk, as long as there's dialogue, you know I'll listen to you. Break old mugs off skywalks, tilt our heads back skywards and laugh as we howl at the moon on the condition that if I break, and I need the same, you'll get me out of my room. This I promise to do. This I promise to do. Because my mum said that a problem shared is a problem halved. I told her I don't know about that. My friend said that they're always here for a chat. I can't remember, but I think I laughed. Now I found myself repeating these exact same facts. Because yeah, we all break. Some more than others. Yeah, we've all got problems. That doesn't mean that all of our problems are nothing. So I'll promise you something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, this is part of the On the Fringes project. And as part of that, what that means is that we're collecting stories from around the country, stories of food poverty, stories of how people are getting through coronavirus, and we're trying to make as many poems out of that as possible. So if you've got a story that you'd like to share with us that we could maybe work together into turning into something um, that might potentially bring about some change um, in food poverty in this country, then I'd strongly invite you to get in contact and let's have a conversation. I've left my contact details in the description below and yeah, I hope to hear from you soon.